this is Dreamhouse Bio Digesters. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make precast or prefabricated slabs for the installation of your bio digesters. These slabs have become popular for bio digester constructors because of the quick turnaround time that they provide for installers. They also fit into any small land space provided, right? But let me hold it there because then this video is not really about advantages that these slabs provide. That will be left for another video which we can then compare them to using blocks in biodigester construction. By talking about blocks, that's exactly what I was using when I started installing biodigesters. And then with time, I realized the turnaround time for them was not really going to help me because if you have a lot of job, if you have a lot of jobs at hand, and then you have to install the blocks, last um, have the blocks laid, and have the top slab dried overnight, sometimes in a day or two, depending on the type of sand that you use for the for the casting of the top slabs. Then you realize that it might take you two or three days to even do a standard family size biodigester. But if you do have these precast slabs, your job becomes quite easier because then when you show up, if you have a team of three or four, they can install at least four or five biodigesters in a day. Some go as far as installing five, six, seven, or eight biodigesters in a day. That's where the precast slabs and prefabricated slabs became a game changer. For we those who are in this business and i'm going to show you in this video how to cast your own slabs and how to prepare them so that the next time you have a job then it's the next time you have to construct a biodigester then you can just pick them up and just go and do what you are supposed to do you might also have seen some of them around town in terms of people who have taken it up as businesses and now are only casting the slabs and leaving them up for sales so it's really a big business now in Accra and it's best if you want to become a good installer or you want to have your own business of installing how to to cast your own pre-fabricated slabs so let's go into the video now so here are the things that you will need if you want to cast your own slabs the most important thing that you need is the angle bars or wooden buttons some use wooden buttons but i usually don't recommend that because they will not last you for a long time it's, it's wooden buttons the usual wooden buttons that i use in construction you can get some but your best bet is to get the angle bars and cut them to measure to fit the specification in which you want to the type of slabs you are going to cast in my case what i do have is the standard family size I have the family size as well, the large family size, and then I have the commercial type of bi digester. So depending on the type of slabs I want to cast and for which the number of users or the capacity of users, I will go for that particular angle bar and use it in casting the slabs. So the angle bars can be bought from the shops and then you can take them to the welder for them to be fitted well and then they can be firm so that you can use them over time for a longer time of period instead of just getting the wooden bars which are cheaper but will not last you a long time you also need binding wire that's binding wires for this particular job because your wire mesh and then your cutter rods are what are going to be used you're going to use the binding wire to hold them firmly in place when it comes to the wire mesh i prefer the coated ones you can you can see them in shops blue or green ones they are coated ones there's no much difference but i have a feeling they last longer than the ones that are not being coated so you get your wire mesh and then you get your recycle polythene bag that's just for the floor you can also use rubber carpets for the floor so that they don't stick on the ground in which you are going to cast the slabs of course you need your bags of cement and then you need your quarry dust or sand now here is the trick what most people do is to use the sand but if you want your prefabricated slabs to last longer the trick is to use the quarry dust only and the cement that one if you cast it in the morning by 2 p.m or 3 p.m 
is dried and is ready to be lifted for work on site what most of these guys do with the experience they've gotten over the years is to just go for the quarry that's that can dry faster and it's harder and it's firm so that's what most people do and then your tools of course for missing the mortar your hand throw wall and your level to know the level in which your your slabs are going to be in terms of the smoothness and stuff the first thing that you have to do when you want to cast your own slab so you set the slab floor the floor on which you are going to cast the slabs with the polythene or the black rubber sheets set them up nicely and then you place the angle bar on them right when you put the angle bars on them you make sure you place the wire mesh that has been fitted together with the iron rod the quarter rods it can be 38 mm or it can be quarter rod fixed firmly with the binding wires and then you place them in the angle bar you have make sure you have it's all been cut to measure so there's a, a measurement you are casting the length probably six feet or five feet uh, or 69 inches or you are casting the breadth three feet or 29 or 31 inches depending on the type of digester or the type of slabs that you intend to construct you measure your angle bars to fit that purpose you miss your quarry dust sand with the cement and then you check for quantity some depending on what they are looking for will take two fuel barrels of quarry dust and mix it up with one bag of cement just for the firmness just for the amount of turnaround time in which it can become hard for them to just go and pick their stuff and go and install and then because of the turnaround time the next thing is to put a bit of water on the wire mesh and then you come and pour the mist mortar right into it and then you level it up with your with your hand thrower and make sure it goes into all the corners of the angle bar <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell notification so that any new video that we do you'll be notified of it and then you can watch it as well after it's all been set you wait small and then you go and then level it up again so this is how basically how it's supposed to be you cast everything up you lay them up and then you pour all this all the the slabs all the mortar into them and then you are good to go after you have cast them and you've left them for some few hours you can then go and pour some water on them to make sure that the cement kills wall and then it becomes firm the binding wires that you are going to put at the end of them is what you are going to use to tie the final piece when you are doing the installation and the construction that's what's going to hold them firm together so remember to put those remember to put those binding wires at the tip of them and make sure they are all firm in the this thing when you finish all these things and then your slabs would lay down for some time and then they are ready to be picked to be used on site let me know about your view on the use of precast slabs or prefabricated slabs what's your experience of using prefabricated slabs and if you are an installer constructor what's your experience with using prefabricated slabs let me know in the comment section below and then i will also give you a reply we have a website dreamhousebydigester.com we are active there we have the types of buy digesters you can go and have a look at them the one that you are building your house and then you think is fit for your house you might consider it we also have a pdf guide for those who want to learn how to install and construct buy digesters it's a simple step-by-step -step guide that we give for those who are interested in this and then they can also go and download it for a small fee thank you again for watching this video until next time bye bye